Hello, good day friend. Today we will talk on C sharp string dot join. Use cases are say you have an array of integer and you wanted to add all those integers. I mean concatenate all those integers separated by comma and wanted a, a string output. You can achieve this using string dot join. Say you have a string array or list of strings and you wanted con to want to concatenate all those elements and want an output. Uh, so you can achieve this using string dot join. You can um, change the separator. So all this uh, uh, use cases can be achieved using string dot join. So let us see the usage. So there are uh, several. So like this is char object array with string with separator. This is separate char separator string separator. And then we have char with string array string with string array this is a separator char and string uh, char separator with uh, i enumerable of string string separator with i enumerable of string and this is the start index and this is the number of items you wanted to take to have an output so this can only be uh, done with string array so let us see all this in action so i am here in an folder now let me open a command from yeah so now here let me create a new dotnet console application okay okay it's done now now let me open this application in vs code okay so it opened program.cs let me build that sorry .net. Uh, it seems there is an error okay ah i see so we cannot use dot here this is this okay. yep so it's running perfect now we can go and we can quickly okay, so let me take an integer um, array let me take one out of four okay now we can have the result okay so this is what string dot join now you see the separator and then you have object now you see that object can be null so we'll see this use case and uh, there are different uh, overloaded methods are there so you can see there are nine overloaded versions are there so we'll see this one see you can even the separator can also be null so we'll see what happens if it is null so first start let's start with an a normal use case so let me put the array okay now if i want the output okay now let me save it go and let's let's clear this okay now let's run this Okay, so it's printing system between 32. Why? Okay, sorry. So it should be result. Okay. Now we go and we run it. See, it got uh, concatenated 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, if you want a space between this comma and 2, you can do this using string separator. Run it. See one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, if you want some other separator, let's say um, three dots, uh, three dashes, you can do that as well. Okay. Now uh, this is one. And now, okay. So we decided to test this one. What will happen if it is? Null. Okay, before we go to null, what will happen if it is an empty array? Okay, so let us run this. Nothing got printed. So let us see what is the if the result is um, empty or it's null. So we can check um, that using string dot is null or empty method. So save it.
it's true okay so we can further test this so it is either empty or null so whether it is null uh, or empty that we can check using this so if it is true that means it is returning null if it is it false false that means it is returning empty okay it's not null it's returning empty so the, that we can use the reason that means it will have length equal to zero if it is null it would have thrown exception c0 that means empty will be returned if it's an empty array now what will happen if it is null what so we will see if now we are getting null this result is null or the result is empty see you are getting exception now so argument null exception in that case you will be getting so we will be getting it here so that means this is we are getting null so we will get this so value cannot be null so basically you are getting this as null okay now this cannot be null if you if it is null it will throw exception so if it is a and what will happen this one if it is this one is what will happen what will be the output okay now it is okay let's run this you see so if it is null so they are there are no separator that's me they all get all the elements are getting concatenated one after the other uh, so now i would like to show you what will happen uh, in case of an okay so we can uh, use uh, okay uh, let's do this string so let me take this as this is only possible with string so string array so i'm showing it with string so say three people and, um, or say it's alphabet comma b sorry b comma c d sorry comma a okay fine now what i wanted to show you show uh, that the start index and the uh, number of element i wanted to take so i wanted to start from what do you want to, i start i want to turn 0 1 2 and then want to take two element so c d e i wanted to concatenate so i to start from two and want to take three elements so it should print c d e okay so let us see see c d e got printed so that that is the benefit you can't do it using integer array unfortunately uh, so if i do it it would give me compile so if i do that and if i try to run it it would give some different output okay okay so one more thing i wanted to show now is uh, okay class so let me uh, try this one so say uh, let me take a new creator item class and uh, let's see it has two property uh, stream sorry LST. okay so say first name and then last okay now that is the case and we wanted to have uh, okay so let me import the namespace and then let me add the type okay so we'll be adding to this okay so new uh, item so let me 
first name equal to say Ram. This is just a random uh, name I'm finding out. Okay, so and let me take three guys. Top and pick. So there. So. Okay. Now, uh, what I wanted to do, I wanted to join them and I wanted to get the output. Okay. So, what I want the first name and last name. So, Ram Mozi, Sanu Rock, and Team B. And they want, so the output should be like this Ram Mozi, comma, hmm, Sanu Rock, and then Team a situation like that say you are developing a software say HR application and you wanted all the employees uh, name and their name should be like first name last name and they should be all the names should be concatenated and should come as a string so that kind of stuff you can achieve with a very less uh, lines of code using this technique mm -hmm. so one more thing you have to do you have to write the two string method so, uh, Okay, so this would return. Uh, okay, so let's do string interpolation like this. In that case, first name. Okay. So this is that's it. So I will run this. You see, they got. Uh, this is uh, this appeared as we expected here uh, there should be a space so you can give a space here it appear like that now so that was about um, string dot uh, join uh, thank you so much for watching